here at Vitor Shaolin, BJJ in the heart of New York City, just around the corner actually, is Times Square. So pretty awesome little spot here to be. I'm here, over here we got Silvio Duran and Renato Canuto. Of course, both these guys are gonna be on Kasai Pro 4 just a few days away. So I think they're just kinda, kinda be rolling around a little bit, trying to make weight for the big tournament here. So just staying loose, not too, too crazy, but uh, we'll see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in and do this kind of little little private class that they got going on just so they can, can, can make weight, just so the guys can make weight. So let's uh, let's see how it goes. Hopefully I get a couple rolls with these guys. Hopefully I can maybe learn how to do some backflips and things like that from Hanato. But uh, yeah, let's jump right in, let's get to it. One, okay, I already driving the leg, so I'm just gonna change the angle. Okay, I'm gonna slap his leg. One, and now I'm just gonna slide my hand and pull. All right, I'm gonna enter my elbow, make the connection here, we change the levels, stay tight. Elbows, step to the side. All right, let's just break the sweaters. Okay, let's go. I'm excited for, for Saturday. Yeah. I'm gonna do my best and I hope get another victory there. The last match, I, I was, I have my game plan and we always have the second plan. Uh, I was trying to work more on my leg drags. But at the end, when I saw the footwork was there, it's my favorite position. So like, let's let's go from here, and I was able to submit. I hope this Saturday will be similar. Let's see, let's see. I'm training a lot uh, today. Uh, Renato is here training with me. Always good. If Renato and Raquel is here, it means Kazai time. So let's do it. Feeling good. It was good to su sweat it out. In the beginning, I was feeling a little bit heavy because of I guess because of the jet lag. But like now, sweat it out, like I'm feeling, feeling better, ready to go, and I'll just rest, make the way tomorrow, and then go for it. I started the camp very early because uh, first I was supposed to fight Edwin. So when they told me about Edwin, I was like, okay, let's go, let's start, you know, like thinking about stuff. Now I'm fighting Wagner, so uh, I went back. Mikey is pretty much my coach right now in Vegas, so Musume was helping me out. So we did a bunch of like strategies from here and there, like specific stuff. It was pretty cool, it was just literally like, like a homework, you know? So it was, uh, it was very good to experience like some stuff that I didn't use to do as much or things that I didn't do anymore. I was doing a lot on this camp, so like I have some different stuff coming up and I have some stuff that I really would like been wanting to do in the competition, I just didn't have the, you know, like the, the confidence yet to pull it off, so. I'm pretty confident right now, man. I'm getting, getting pretty confident, like I'm, I haven't been doing good so far, so the camp was awesome. I can't wait to fight, I'm actually like just tired already of waiting. Let me think, I think Hanato armbarred me two, five, like at least 25 <laughs> times in that seven minute round. So, <laughs> uh, feeling feeling good, but man, oh, Hanato, so slick. One of my favorite grapplers actually to watch. I've seen him watch them the past uh, Kasai's. Of course, everybody knows about the back foot pass. But I've been watching him do the flying stuff for, for, for many years. Of course, he won Kasai Pro 1 as well. Just has the, the slickest Jiu Jitsu, so super high level here already, absolutely. But uh, a lovely gym, and uh, glad I'm getting to roll around a couple of these guys just two days away now from Kasai, and uh, they're ready, they're ready. I really didn't like the last match, like I, I wasn't happy about my, my performance. I'm, I fixed a lot of stuff that I did in this last one, you know? So I'm definitely like working on stuff that I didn't like, stuff that I would like to to do better. I'm actually right now doing it. 
I'm forcing myself to fix it. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to go there and fight and, and show people like, that they are always gonna come back better. You know, I'm still 22, man. I'm still learning. I'm still excited about it. I'm still growing. I'm still, you know, it's like my confidence is still growing. So every month that passes, I'm like, oh, damn. But last month, I didn't know shit. So it's like, yeah, I'm happy. Like, I can't wait. I can't wait to go out there and just show what I'm capable of. I think the, the, the last time, just six minutes, was too short for both guys to show the, the, the jiu jitsu. I think now 15 minutes uh, with points. Half part points, half part, part submission only. I think gonna open more options to both. Definitely gonna be a great show, but I trust a lot of Renato. And for sure, he's gonna find something new to to get the victory and surprise the, the public. Man, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna try to, to pass, take the back, but don't be surprised if you see a footwalk because it's still my bread and butter. There you go, another session in the books. My third one this week, so you know what that means. That means we're getting to the end of the week. Tomorrow is the weigh-ins, and once these guys are waiting, it's official. Kasai Pro 4 is gonna go off Saturday night. It starts at 5 p.m. Of course, you can watch it on flowgrappling.com. You're not gonna wanna miss this, I promise. You got Hanato Canuto versus Wagner Hosha. You got Gordon Ryan versus Mateus Knees, Mateus Lutz versus uh, Jeremiah Vance, and plus the eight-man Paolo Miao, Jill Martinez, uh, Ethan Krenlinson. It's an absolutely stacked card. I'm so excited for it, can't wait for it. I hope to see you guys there. Let's do it.